B2Web here. Short video here on how to install a WordPress theme. Specifically, we're going to be building this uh, entire uh, sample business website uh, using uh, the Genesis framework and child themes. So, uh, one of the re two reasons I wanted to use Genesis is because I really like it and I use it a lot. Uh, highly recommend it. The other reason is because it's a parent-child setup, uh, you have to do t you have to install two files. It's very simple. Uh, some people get a little intimidated with the parent-child thing, so I wanted to use that as an example in building these business websites. Uh, right, so uh, we're in the dashboard. You go to appearance and you go to uh, themes. I almost forgot there. Uh, you have two options here. By default, it's manage themes. Uh, we want to install themes. And don't worry about search. You can search. You can search for free themes. You can use free themes if you like. I don't use free themes. I used to. I, I prefer just paying for a quality theme with more features, less hassles. It's just work for me. I You know, I spent... Uh, anywhere from what thirty to uh, a couple hundred dollars if you get like an all theme package. Uh, I've never regretted a single penny I've spent on themes. I've spent uh, probably getting close to a thousand dollars. So um, anyway, that's my view on it. Uh, let's go to install themes and then you go to upload and you're going to browse. And what you do is, is hopefully you've uh, purchased your theme or have it as a zip format somewhere. That's how they arrive when you buy them. And then you just grab that file and then you'll install it. So uh, spare you the time of me uh, hunting around my computer. I'll just uh, I'll just come back and have that uh, ready to install. So I added it there and now I install it and it takes uh, activate it. Here we are, we're in the theme settings. Uh, you'll notice one thing at the top here, you see I installed a uh, Genesis 3.1 just because I haven't downloaded the updated ones. But that's what's so cool about Genesis. I don't have to. I can update it directly in the dashboard here, uh, and I'll do that right now. So just update to the latest Genesis version. And we're done that. Uh, you also notice I haven't upgraded to WordPress 3.3.1. The only reason is it's still at this point a little recent, and I have a lot of uh, plugins and software, and I just don't want to make sure you know make sure that everybody's had time to uh, work any bugs out with the new WordPress. And uh, I, you know, I've never had a problem waiting a little while to upgrade to the most recent WordPress. So that's why you see that there. Next, what we do is we are going to install the child theme. Now you'll notice here what we have is we did the Genesis first. This is the parent or the Genesis framework. So next what we're going to do is we're going to install the child theme. The parent or Genesis is really the uh, WordPress theme engine. The child theme sets out the design. It's a, it's a very uh, uh, little amount of code in the child theme. It basically dictates your design. It's a, it's a great format. It may seem a little more complicated than, than other theme frameworks, but it's, uh, it's really great. I really like it. So install and again upload install activate and we're in business here. So now what I, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the enterprise theme. Uh, and the reason I'm going to use enterprise is it has, uh, I've used it a lot. I still use it a lot. I like it. It's one of my favorite themes on the planet. And uh, so I, you know, I, I recommend, I think it's a great one. I, I may do some more of these videos with some other child themes. I don't know. Uh, the whole point is that you sort of get a, a general understanding of how to set up your own website. Uh, there's tens of thousands of themes. I couldn't possibly go through all of them. So we'll use Enterprise and that's it. So now we've installed our parent and up here the child and we're good to go. And the next video will start dealing with uh, setting up theme settings and uh, other videos will deal with basically step by step how I go about building business websites.